I gotta start. <laughs> I thought that was a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. Like, oh. Welcome back to Brimatures. Today we've got Toes to the Nose from Bottle Logic. It's a smoothie style mango Berliner Weiss with coconut and marshmallow. I have my partner here with me to try it out. Yep. What do you think? Uh, I like the can itself, the design, the artwork. It's cool. Just the flavors, man. I'm really interested in see what mango, coconut, marshmallow. I'm excited to try this one. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what do you think? Uh, mango, I'm excited for. I love mango. Uh, coconut, we'll see how it plays with the mango. Marshmallow, I hope marshmallow doesn't overpower everything. Um, I've had marshmallow in a lot of beers before, and it tends to, if it's, if they put a lot of marshmallow in, it overpowers everything, and you get like, oh, this is this is like drinking a can of marshmallow fluff. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely hoping for more mango out of this, because that's... Okay. That's what um, you're getting this for. Yeah, I mean, I'm interested to actually try the uh, marshmallow, like, see how it comes out. I mean, I really like this can. It's cool. Yeah, they, um, they do a good job. I'm expecting the marshmallow to also bring, like, a creaminess or a smoothness to it. Um, it tends to smooth out beers, especially, like, stouts and stuff. 5.5% um, alcohol, so it's light. Um, you're going to need uh, more than one of these if you're trying to have a super good night. We're trying to go toast the nose. All right, dude, let's see if this has us going banzai. Now we have inverted the can. Oh, wow. Do you ever have those uh, Kern's nectar drinks? Yeah. <laughs> That's like a thick mango juice. The uh, Look at the bubbles are struggling. They're trying to get up there. Okay, okay. Let's see what this yolk tastes like. Oh, you said egg yolk. No, that's <laughs> that's gross. I'm not trying to be rocky over here. Before I take a sip, <laughs> that, that coconut really hit me though. Yeah. Yeah. On the nose. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of there on top, but it also smells smooth. It does. I mean, mm -hmm. Do it. Oh wow. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> we got them. That's good. Smoothie style fan over here. You know what it tastes like? Have you ever had those like candies, the little Mexicans, the like little, they have like colored ones, the little candles, what are they called? Oh, the little wax ones? Yeah. You, yeah. No. <laughs> you haven't had those? No, Gus has oh, eaten them that fuck. one time. Okay. Yeah, but this, it, it reminds you of that. It does taste really? like Yeah, yeah. To me, it's like, the Kern's nectar drink, that's the only thing I think of. It's like thick like that, you know? It's got a thick mouthfeel. Yeah, that's good though. I like that one. Yeah, and for me, you get mango, coconut's in there, it's not overpowering. Marshmallow is nowhere to be found, but I like that because it's only just adding that creaminess, I think. Okay. And I, and I enjoy that. We'll try to find a picture of that candy and just pop it up right now. Um, if you guys have tried it and you guys try this, for your, comment down below, see if they taste the same. But it tastes very similar to me. Alright, let's try this. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of something. Candy Those little set. candies with the little wax? The little wax candies with the sugar on the end, the little <laughs> tubes. No, um... Tide Pods. All right, get it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had those like coconut macaroons? Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like, right? Like, like a the, coconut macaroon? You know, like, um, is that what they're called? The actual macaroon or a macaron? The, the actual macaroon, like the... Yeah, the coconut macaroon. It's like basically mm. a bunch of like coconut shreds. Yeah, that's what yeah. it tastes like. So you're getting a lot of coconut. I got a lot of coconut. I got a mix, but... But I think... I got less coconut. I, I got more know, mango. Man. But it's like, I feel like it's that, but then they like throw in a bunch of like mango nectar on top and are like, all right, yeah. here you go, here right? Yeah. Basically, probably. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. I think it's mango puree with marshmallow, coconut. So what are you, ra what are you rating it? <laughs> um, I did really like this one. I don't know. I mean. Ooh. 
I think uh, I don't know if I want to give it a five, but I really enjoy it. Maybe I'll give it a four point seven. I think this is the closest five I've closest beer to a five that I've ever had. But personally, I really enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, we've had some good beers together. But I, I'm gonna go with the four point. Just with all the beers I've had, four point five, which 4. is 5. I think is pretty pretty odd, uh, pretty good. I would agree with four point five. 4.5 because I really enjoy it. I really like it, but just because it's so thick and sweet. Yeah. I don't know if I'll go, like, want to have this all the time. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I have a sweet tooth, so I'll have this all the time. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... But I yeah, know, it's man. very it's very sweet. Like, it's good, It's but... A 4.5. That's uh, I'll give it a 4.5. Do 4.5. 4.5 is fair. Yeah. Well, that does it for today's beer review. Please hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we upload new videos. Follow us on Instagram and Untapped. And until next time, we're the Brumatures, trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip, sip at a time. time. Yeah. You can just take a, a quick sip and then go get off. <laughs>